Hey folks, how you doing today? So, you know, here at the Mantiques Network, we're always trying to create and build new and cool stuff. We took a shine and we took a liking to this flat belt drive industrial equipment from basically the turn of the century. For those of you who don't know, a lot of this stuff disappeared during the war era because America was rounding up all metals to be melted down to go into the war effort. A lot of this stuff got destroyed, melted down, Thank God we won the war. What I'm gonna show you today, this is a 1914 WFJ Barnes lathe. This is a metal lathe, 1914. At the time, this was considered the best lathe money could buy. We took this completely apart. We went through everything. We put a beautiful car finish on it and basically what would be a color that it would have come with was a really deep dark green as well as we had our pinstriper come in and do a nice classy stripe on it, not too much, not too little. This is what you would have seen on a piece of equipment like this in 1914. So when we got it, we got the lathe and a bunch of parts with it, okay, which you see up here. So we're thinking to ourselves, well, what are we gonna do to really make this cool? So uh, Jeff decided and came up with this idea, and so it, we built this complete stand for it that is custom made for this lathe. We did not alter the lathe in any way. It's been hooked up by existing bolt patterns. We thought it was super cool because we wanted to get a light on it. We wanted to get some wood on it. This is something we thought, well, this would maybe be the way it would look if it was at a trade show or something. You know, it's really super neat. Not only that, folks, we actually built this beautiful brick wall just to show off our new line of equipment and we'll be doing some other videos with it. Uh, all cast iron, works good, put the light, as well as we actually bought a nice period type lunch pail to go with it because we thought it'd be cool with thermos. Bought that on eBay, thank you eBay. And we married it with a nice period turn of the century antique whiskey bottle. We thought that was cool as well. And we put a picture of, we thought, what the machinist's girlfriend would look like. That's just simply taped on there. You can take it off if you have any issues with it. So Jeff, come on up here and let's show them. Uh, all the tools in the toolbox came with the lathe. I actually purchased this toolbox from somebody else. It's a period toolbox. It's really cool, fits well, fit right in here. Uh, it has a drawer down here, which, well, we threw some nice antique screwdrivers. Everything you see up here came with the lathe. Okay, beautiful toolbox. It's a nice one. So come on over here, Jeff. These are a lot of the original gears that came with it. We got a little oiler can here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on right now. And come on over here, Jeff. Let me show them that it's gonna make some, uh, some chippings here, right? So just like any lathe that goes in, you see, you could use this lathe. It's probably more for decoration, but it is a usable lathe. Not a problem with that, right? Super, super neat. Um, so if you would like to have it, we're building a whole line of this stuff, folks. All flat belt, we don't do any V-belt. We like all turn of the century. We like cast iron. This is a super, super neat piece. Uh, you see this drill press, I'm gonna do that next. We got some good ideas with that. Flat line, flat belt, everything, and uh, it's ready to go. As you know, we'll just get this on a pallet, get a blanket wrap, put it right in your garage. Not a problem, just like that. Just make a phone call, we'll take care of it for you. Anyway, new line of stuff. We look forward to building it for you, and whoever gets this is gonna enjoy it. My phone's ringing. These are antiques. These are mantiques. Antique, mantique. These guys sell mantiques. This is their store. And we're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent, in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from 9 to 5 or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide. 